Welcome to another episode of Boost My Build. Finally, it's been a while since the last time I've done this. For those who don't know what this is about, this is a series where you send me your PC Power Picker list for your future PC build and I give you feedback and also give you the perfect PC in case you messed up with some of the components. If you want to be on my video, just send me your PC Power Picker link on my Instagram and follow the instructions that you will have in the video description. That being said, let's start. First, I want to say this is not my video idea. I took this from PC Builder's YouTube channel, so shout out to Jason. Now, since I didn't get any requests, I'm going to be doing it with the PC Power Picker forum where people ask for PC advice and they send their PC Power Picker list. We are going to be taking a first time build from Adam. He said, I messaged earlier and got some great feedback on my first attempt. I've watched some helpful guides online and have decided to try again. I'm looking to build a rig to play open world, FPS and strategy games. I'm not a streamer or anything like that. My budget is 1500 pounds. He's from the UK. I would like to play at high 1080p or low 1440p. Please let me know how close I am and what changes you recommend I make either to my build or my budget. So this is a PC that he made. Now, in my opinion, it's gonna be good for his goals because the RTX 3060 Ti is good for 1080p high and 1440p low. But in my opinion, for 1500 pounds, you should be getting a much better system. Not only that, but you're also 90 pounds over budget. By the way, the monitor is included in this 1500 pounds. Great choice there on a 1440p 165 hertz. I do not know why you want a PC that's capable of 1080p high if your monitor is 1440p but I'm glad you have a 1440p monitor at this price point. So for the CPU you pick the Ryzen 5 7600X, nothing against this CPU, I actually think it's a good idea to go with this one, but we can also take a look at the 7600 non-X, that way we save up some money on the power supply later on. For the CPU cooler you picked the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, this is the CPU cooler I have on my computer. I love this cooler, however for this Ryzen 5 it's definitely an overkill. And remember, every pound that you spend on a component, it's a pound that you're not spending in anything else. So by you spending 77 pounds on the CPU cooler, you are leaving performance out of the table by choosing a GPU that will not deliver the best performance at this price. For the motherboard you have the MSI Mac P650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. ATX motherboard. Honestly, this is a good choice considering if you want a motherboard with Wi Fi, it's gonna cost you at least 170 pounds. So, not a bad choice here if you really want a motherboard with Wi Fi, which I do not know. So, for that reason, I will stick to this one. Totally fine. Then, for the memory kit, you pick the Corsair RGB 32 gigs of RAM of DDR5 at 5200 CL40 memory for 100 pounds. I think this one is overpriced. You can get better timings for less money. So, I wouldn't recommend you going with this one. For this storage for 88 pounds you pick the samsung 970 evo plus this is a gen 3 drive 2 terabytes of gen 3 for your usage is gonna be way more than enough however for around the same price you can get gen 4 ssd which is gonna be faster it's not going to translate to better gaming performance but if you want to do content creation or transfer a bunch of heavy files it's gonna be a nice to have and at the end of the day for around the same price getting more performance is always better then for the graphics card and this is where i think you messed up you got the rtx 3060 ti the asus dual version the white one i don't know why you went with the white one and then a black aesthetic and also rgb on the ram but in my opinion the rtx 3060 ti is not the best option at this price point now if you had to spend 800 to a thousand pounds that would be a different story maybe the 3060 ti would make more sense but on this case you're looking to get a much better gpu that will give you more performance also the 3060 ti comes with 8 gigs of vram which is not ideal for 1440p nowadays of course it depends on the title if you want to play games like GTA 5 or FPS games, as you said, you will have no issues. But if you want to play the latest AAA titles on ultra settings, I'm talking about, for example, Howard's Legacy, it's going to take more than 8 gigs of VRAM. And honestly, at this price point, you shouldn't be worrying about the VRAM limitations. Then for the case, I do not like this case at all. We have the Fantex Pro ATX full case. I don't like how this one looks. It kind of looks retro. Also, it's £111, so really expensive. The airflow looks decent, but I think we can do much 
much better than this. Then for the power supply, we have the Seasony Focus GX 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply. I think that this is an overkill. You can go with less wattage, save up some money, especially considering this power supply is 145 pounds, really expensive. Then you have the Microsoft Windows 11 license for 110 pounds. I think this is absolute insanity. I will get Windows 11 from a retailer, get it at a much cheaper price, and at the end is the same operating system. Then for the monitor, you pick the LG 32 inch 440p 165 hertz monitor. This is a great monitor, honestly, for 230 pounds, really decent price. So we will stick with this one. The total price is 1590 pounds, as I said before, 90 pounds over your budget. If you're willing to spend a bit more over over 1500 pounds that's great we can do more stuff with that but honestly this pc will not do it in my opinion and this is what i would do instead this is the boosted build i went with the amd ryzen 5 7600 non-x because as i said before you can then save up some money on the power supply and also on the electricity bill the total price for the cpu is about four to three pounds less than the 7600x so about the same price but you're going to have that power draw advantage then for the cpu cooler i went with the id cooling sc224 xts this one is 30 pounds i absolutely love how this cooler looks it's gonna be way more than enough for the 7600 and even this top cooler is gonna be fine with this CPU which is nice. Then for the motherboard we have the same motherboard that you chose. For the memory kit we have one from Corsair, 32 gigs of RAM kit of DDR5 at 5600MHz, CL36 so much faster than the one you've chosen and at a cheaper price. For the storage we have the Western Digital Black SN770. This one is a 2TB Gen 4 SSD that's going to be faster than the one that you chose for the same price so why not. Then for the graphics card, the most important part on this gaming build, we have the RTX 4070, which is going to crush that RTX 3060 Ti that you were going for. And we are talking about 40% faster rasterized performance than the RTX 3060 Ti and 12 gigs of VRAM, which is gonna be better for 1440p especially. On a 13 game average at 1440p, on high to ultra settings, it was able to manage 126 FPS, which is around 30 FPS more than the RTX 3070 which is by the way better than your RTX 3060 Ti. So forget 1440p low, here we are talking about 1440p high to ultra settings with no FPS limit and in FPS titles it's gonna be way more than enough to achieve more than 240 FPS consistently which is not necessary since your monitor is 165Hz but at the end of the day the message is the same you're gonna be getting a 1440p GPU that's much faster than the one you were choosing. Then for the case we have the Fractal Design Focus 2 this one is a whole black aesthetic beautiful front mesh panel I absolutely love how this one looks it looks fantastic really clean and minimalistic it already comes with two pre-installed fans on the front and then I added one for around £7 for the exhaust fan we are talking about the Arctic P2 12. Then for the power supply we have the MSI MAG 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply for 52 pounds. Really good power supply honestly. It's gonna be enough for our build and you are going to be saving some money on the electricity bill if that's something that matters to you. Then for the Windows 11, as I said before, I do recommend you buying from retailers. These are verified so don't worry about it. They are legit and you're gonna be spending around 25 pounds for it. So much less than 111 pounds that you were spending for the original ones. Then we have the same monitor and the total price it's 1540 pounds now if you want to stay around 1500 i recommend you taking out the cpu cooler sticking with the stock one which is gonna be fine it's gonna be enough and then you will have a pc that's around 1500 pounds but to be honest you were looking to spend 1590 pounds so i don't think this will be an issue for you but of course it's something to keep in mind and then if you want a PC with a GPU from AMD, you can get the RX 6800XT, which is essentially the same rasterized performance as the RTX 4070 for a lower price. And you also get more VRAM, which is not gonna make a difference at 440p right now, but it's more future-proof. The RTX 4070, on the other hand, is better for content creation. It has a better encoder and also better for ray tracing. So both of them have their pros and cons. That's really for you to decide. Honestly, I think there's no wrong decision 
resolution here you're gonna be getting way more than you need for 1440p gaming which is nice if you go with the 6800 xt i changed the power supply to the corsair 750 watt 80 plus gold power supply this is the rm 750e 80 rated i love this power supply but it is more expensive and the total price for the amd option is 1523 pounds so a bit cheaper than the other one and about the same gaming performance in terms of rasterized performance i really hope that i did a good job here just let me know in the comment section what would you change in these pc builds or if you want to see me doing another episode remember if you want to be featured in the next one just go to my instagram and follow the instructions that you will have in the video description and by the way if you're looking to build a pc and you're new i recommend you watching my video about the best pc builds of the month in the top right of the screen where you will find your perfect pc build for gaming and for your budget that way you do not have to have any pc components knowledge in order to pick the right components thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one